Are you mad? No. You gonna come in and grow up today? You're mad at me, aren't you? Locked him up last night because of the booming fireworks. She's jealous she don't get a dog bone. She has food allergies. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. I'm gonna take this out. And now you can see what it is. Oh yeah. Been wanting one of these for a while and never broke down and bought one, but I'm glad I did. The uh, gun that's going on is my little 22 Magnum. And I've had this gun for almost 20 years and I've, I've shot it maybe five or six times. I'll take it out like once a year or so and and uh, shoot it now that I'm getting my age here. I, it's harder to hang on to this thing. And the last time I shot it, it, just about jumped out of my hand. So I don't have the grip in my hands anymore like I used to. So today this gets changed and we're gonna put it into this. I believe that's gonna be a lot sturdier. So let's get started. I got to buy my glasses here. And it sucks getting old, guys. Let's see here. First of all, I need to unload this bad boy. do a little cleaning too starting to look a little rough but this is my little pocket pistol and I keep it in my pocket and uh, that's what I refer to it to and to me it's a crotch pistol if you get shot with it it's going to the crotch I'm shooting you in the crotch I'm sorry you intend on giving me a bad day, I'm going to make sure you have a bad day. And I'm sorry for the background noise, guys. It's cold out here in the garage right now. And the heater is going. That little foam ball that they put in the... the grips here I guess for the moisture so I'm gonna hang on these old rosewood grips and I don't know I'm thinking I'm gonna clean this out some hold on
hair all over everything. Let's see here. 22. Since that's a Magnum, we're going to go with a little bit bigger one. And clean out this barrel. Probably got a little bit of pocket lint in it. Make sure I get all that out. If you wonder what I'm doing here, I'm taking the uh, reflection from the light off of my thumbnail to look up the barrel. And that's pretty clean. I'll do it one more time. Now, I'm going to take the, uh, I like using a gun oil on these. Uh, a lot of people like using WD-40. And I have no problem with people doing that if that's what they want to do, but I prefer something else if I can find it. What did I do? Oh, hold on. Bullets out. I always want to get these little divots right here because you never know when you get something piled up in there it's going to keep you from having that cylinder lock in. And I bet it's been 10 years since I've cleaned this gun. Doesn't get very dirty staying in my pocket all the time. business end. Looks pretty good. I'll get some, uh, what do I do with my compressed air? I just ain't organized at all. Hold on.
take a look, guys. I got a small amount of alcohol on here. And we'll see what I'm talking about. And the alcohol dries up pretty quick. You don't have to worry about it trying to rest things out. never have like using a small gun but I was real tickled with the operation of this one and I like the fact that it's a single action gun and and uh, if you pull that hammer back you better be ready to shoot and uh, People wonder why officers tell you to keep your hands out of your pocket. Well, right there's the reason. That gun is easily concealed in a pocket and will hurt bad. It's pretty good and clean now. All right, here's my secret weapon on lubricating these weapons of mine and this is what I use I've had this bottle now for probably four years this is all I've used of it and an old buddy of mine turned me on to this stuff and I was real tickled with it just takes a little bit on your finger just go in there and just smooth it around on because there's not a whole lot of working parts on these little guns here and on a gun that I take apart this is what I'll do is I'll use this oil to uh, clean that out I just wonder if I ought to Take this plate off and check under it. Let's do that. Mm. I'm afraid I'm gonna burr that up. I'm gonna leave it. I don't want to burn it up. If it's that tight, I'd say it's probably gonna be hard for something to stay lodged in there. It don't look like there's anything in there. And uh, another thing you like about these guns is you got the, the half cock, you know, the safety on it. And <clears throat> that way you don't have to worry about the trigger falling down on top of your, uh, your uh, 
round, can't you think? Or the hammer falling down on your round, I said trigger. You don't want the hammer falling on it. Make sure she's good and dry before I put this oil on her. Let's do that again. And this is just a Try to hold down on any rust. And you'd be surprised on how well that lubricates that metal. I don't put any on the inside of the the cylinder, by the way, because I don't believe that you should because the oils have a tendency to seep into the metal and brass being a softer metal, you don't want anything seeping through the, the brass to uh, dampen up your powder for any kind of misfires. Of course, I'm not using a, a whole lot of oil to worry about that, but I heard of it happening. All right, that's took care of. Now let's do this. or the cylinder pin. And on my Glocks, now I'll, I'll take this after I clean a whip and I'll take this and just rub it on the outer parts of my uh, barrel and slide and just a small drip of this on the uh, slide rails on the inside so it'll this stuff is slick now I'm, I, that's why I like it and I guess it uh, it ought to have slick max is the name but it doesn't it's Z max and that's probably the best gun oil I think I've ever used. All right, now we're gonna clean our browns with just some of that alcohol. And this is just to keep the corrosion down. Let's see if you can tell the difference on that round and that round. It's a little bit different, not much. But the reason why I like this for a belly gun is it's a 22 Magnum. So you got a good little kick to it. And plus, I'll show you what I've done to couple of the rounds here to make them more exciting not to me but to the recipient all right and see there's your standard so you can see that. 
there's your standard hollow point. And first two rounds up, it comes out of this guy. It's gonna have that hollow point. I won't tell you how I done it. Just know that I did it. And believe me, that mushrooms out to almost, what is it, 28, I think it was 28 caliber, something like that. <laughs> and uh, it didn't stay in one piece. I can tell you that right now. The biggest majority of it that I was able to uh, pull up was about a 28 caliber, something in that range. Okay. Make sure this fits in there good and make sure she cycles around before we load her up. All right. Now let's put our grip on. I've always liked the design of the Black Widow Logan, did I not? Or the Black Widow logo. There we go. Get that dog hair out of there. Of course, when you get something like this, you want to smoke it down all the way to South Florida. Let's check out and make sure she's seated well. So far, the only thing I'm not liking is it's got a little bit of a gap up here at the top on the right side. But on this side, it's pretty tight. And it's a North American Arms grip made for this gun. Man, I tell you what, that's a night and day difference. I can just about get my little finger on there and I've got pretty good sized hands. That's a night and day difference. All right. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to hide it in my pocket now, but We'll see. <laughs> Wait a minute. Put my first two big boys up front. There we go. Now remember where they're at. When I load them back in the gun. There we go. Half cock is on. All righty. I'm not gonna shoot it today because it's like 30 degrees outside. I don't feel like freezing my ass off. Anybody that knows me knows that's one thing I don't do is I don't operate in the cold. Oop, we've got to put our little sponge ball in. Okay, let's go back and take care of that. Unload.
I'll tell you what, those threads hang on to the very bitter end. Smoke it all the way down to South Florida again. Where's my big boy? There they are. There we go. And like I said, I'm not going to shoot it today because I'm a creature of. Co uh, good warm weather I don't operate in the cold I refuse to do so and that's the way it's going to be so the next video I'll put on this gun it'll be in the spring but it's a nice set of little rosewood grips I think I'll hang on to them or if somebody's in need of them they can give me a text at uh, Steve Sanders 193 at Gmail and we'll talk about it. Pay for the shipping and I'll send them to you, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell them. So whoever is in need of a pair of rosewood grips for a 22 Magnum. You let me know, because I'll never put them back on. And I think that's gonna do it for today's little video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know it wasn't much entertaining or exciting or anything, but I wanted to share that with you. I've always wanted to black wooded pistol grips. I don't know why I waited so long to get them. So you guys like, subscribe, comment, whatever. And I appreciate you watching. Have a good day and a happy new year.